Hello, this is Maria from Mexico City and um, I want to show you the brioche stitch on the kiss loom. We're going to start the cast on, regular one, the, the kiss loom cast on. Okay, uh, I don't do the the long tail cast on right now because I want a very loose edge for the capelet. I'm I'm showing it be, uh, on this little guy because um, because I, I don't want to do it I mean the whole thing right now so we're getting we're using I am using the little guy instead this little guy is really nice but I, I love also the this uh, the capelet I did it on the on the 78 peg 78 loom peg no peg loom see 78 pegs loom because I, I we're done with the cast on row so the next row we'll do it as if we were going to need all the pegs <coughs> but we don't I mean we're not going to you'll see right now listen to my dogs <laughs> they want to come and be part of the party <laughs> Okay, I'm not left-handed, but uh, I like, this is the way I like to, to work my yarn, and it's very comfortable for me. Okay, first of all, I want to say congratulations Graciela for this anniversary congratulations Cliff for all these nice looms okay here they are here it is uh, it is the yarn is as if we were going to need all of them no but we don't the first one we do, we lift, lift, it, lift it up, then we skip one, and the next one we lift up the loop in, in the bottom, lift it up. It's better, you, you touch this, you don't touch this one. It's alternating. It's every other peg. The first row we need. The next one we're going to purl. But only those that have two loops. This we did we touch? We don't touch this one. And this it's better to do this brioche stitch uh, on a an even number on a loom that is with a even number of pegs but still if you don't have one you can still do it now the next row is going to be where you have one loop you don't you only 
put your jar and do your thing and then the next one you purl it you purl them both you just put your yarn and then you purl okay then you purr we're finishing the second row here you only do just put the yarn there and then the last one as there are two loops you just do the purling and that's it and then you're going to start the third row. Third row. Remember, this one was purling. Okay, now this is going to be as knit. So you just go all the way, put the yarn. and now we're done placing the yarn uh, uh, for the third row that we're going to knit but only those that has three loops on it like these has three loops so we lift up the bottom two this one those that have only two, we just leave them here. This has to, this has to, we just leave them like that. Where you can find the three, okay. This brochure stitch has only be done been done on the looms with with a uh, double rake lady Owen on his on his um, blog she described this this beautiful stitch on the loom but with with a double rake this is not this is not double this is a single rake and on the round and the best thing is that you you get both sides the same look now we're done with it and we start the next row okay next row is going to be purling again so wherever you can find just one you just place your yarn on the peg and then and then go this is not very comfortable go again doing this again you put this and you go on like that 